Hey guys, Gaius Hennen at the Shelter Institute again. I want to talk to you about one of the most important tools that we bring to every timber frame raising, and it is this Lugall Come Along. Lugall is the brand name, and Come Along is the generic term for this type of device, and it's basically a cable puller. What we love about the Lugall is that it comes in a two ton capacity. It is available with a galvanized steel cable, but it also is available with a stainless steel cable. And it is often the cables that uh, get damaged and need to be replaced. But the body of the come along is aluminum, which makes it very light. So if you've ever worked with one of these, you know that they can be pretty heavy and difficult to move around the job site. That aluminum feature obviously doesn't rust and it also makes the tool quite a bit lighter. So I mentioned that the capacity on this is two tons. If you are single rigging it like this, the capacity is one ton. But if you hook it back on itself and use these two hooks to attach to your load, you get twice the capacity or two tons, 4,000 pounds. If you've never used one of these, they can be a little bit confusing the first time you put your hands on it. First thing I would point out is that there is a toothed wheel on the side and this handle is actually moving that toothed wheel which is attached to the drum as you pivot the handle back and forth and basically ratchet against this wheel, you're drawing the cable in and moving a load from point A closer to point B. We use this primarily for pulling our joints tight before pegging, but we will also use them for pulling two things together that don't seem to be fitting well. And on the last job site on Martha's Vineyard, we actually used two of these to pull an 18-wheeler out of a ditch very successfully. Looking at the operation a little bit further, you'll notice that there is this um, triangular shape tab attached to the side of the handle and it has two positions all right that's the engaged position and you can hear as I move the handle away there is a tooth that is clicking against each one of these teeth on the wheel so to operate I would push the handle away from me and then pull back and you can hear that as I'm pulling it back there is a second tooth that is catching on the wheel so that the cable doesn't unspool when you let go of the handle so I'll just release that, and now we're in freewheeling mode. When you have a heavy load on here and you're ready to release that load, it is very easy. It's a thoughtfully designed tool. So you would put this lever so that it's in freewheel mode, and then you open the handle all the way up. And as you do that, engages the safety tooth back here that releases the tooth from the wheel, but it only allows it to move back one tooth at a time. So you have a very nice, slow and controlled release of the tension on the cable. You don't have to worry about the cable suddenly becoming completely loose and uh, losing the tension that you have on the wheel. The other nice feature about this come along is that the handle has a little crimp right here and it is intended to bend before you overload the cable, possibly breaking the cable or any of the components on the come along. So it's very safe and the handle is easy to replace. There's one butterfly nut that holds it in place. You'll notice that the handle engages on these two pins and this little bolt is really just there to hold the handle on the pins. We do break these handles or bend them, I should say, on a somewhat regular basis. We don't need to talk about that in front of Pat. So we always travel with spare handles in case that happens. I think that this is the most useful and convenient tool because it basically makes you bionic. I've used these to pull trees over so that they don't fall on my house when I'm cutting them. As I mentioned, we've used them to pull stuck trucks, very large trucks out of the ditch. We use them a lot in timber framing for pulling difficult parts together or to get joints very tight. One of the things we're trying to do when we go to put a bent together is apply enough pressure via the come along to actually compress the side grain of the post against the end grain of the beam. Once we get compression of that wood fiber, we care a little bit less about the shrinkage that takes place because we've artificially compressed the wood fiber. As the water leaves the wood, we don't open up a gap between the post and the beam if we get that compression of the side grain on the post. This is a great tool for doing that because it gives us two tons of pulling power and that allows us to actually compress the wood during assembly. How is this able to get two tons of pulling force? The way that you get a ton of pulling force out of the come along is due to the mechanical advantage of this handle and the diameter of the drum. 
So if you've ever ridden a bicycle with cranks that are a certain length and multiple gears, you know that there's a real difference between first gear in your mountain bike and 18th gear on your mountain bike. This is sort of the same thing. This represents the length of your crank on the pedal, and this represents the gear. So we're able to apply a significant mechanical advantage way out here on the drum in here that allows us to pull with 2,000 pounds of force. Now, physics tells us that when we take one cable and double it like this, the load in each of the cables immediately becomes half. So if we're pulling with 2,000 pounds of force when it's single rigged, and we're finding that we're not getting enough force we can take this end of the cable, hook it back on the come along body, and attach this block to the load. We now have 1,000 pounds in this cable and 1,000 pounds in this cable. So we're still at 2,000 pounds. But then when we go to use the handle, we're able to generate 2,000 pounds in each of the cables with the same amount of force on the handle that we used to get 2,000 pounds in the single line pull, and of course, 2,000 plus 2,000 gives us 4,000 pounds on this hook and 4,000 pounds on this hook. So if you like to work alone a lot or you simply don't have any friends, the Come Along is a great tool for you because it will allow you to do the work of many people uh, alone. So before we actually owned a crane, we would use Come Alongs to raise timber frames. With a little bit of ingenuity and rigging, you can actually pick bents up off the floor, stand them up. You can assemble rafters on the ground, lift them up into place using the Come Along. If you have trees or build some sort of a suspension system that gives you a slight angle on the cable to start the lifting process. Pat talks a lot about this in our online timber framing class, but it's very possible to raise an entire timber frame with just the come along, and it actually can be very safely done. One downside is that it takes a little bit longer, but if you're patient, this is a great way to do it. Because certain components are replaceable and because of the way that it is manufactured, it is really a long lasting come along. We've worked with a broad variety of come alongs through the years and finally found the lug all and really love it. What often happens to fail on these come alongs is that the drum that the cable runs on is a little bit too weak for the load being applied to it. And that drum actually starts to crumble at some point. The cable starts to cut into the drum and then the drum becomes distorted and it no longer is able to rotate within the come along body and you've basically destroyed it. There isn't really a replacement uh, for that. The other very nice thing about this is the ability to release the tension on the cable about a quarter of an inch uh, at a time with that one click release feature, which is very nice because when you have two tons of force on the cable, uh, you don't want to just suddenly release all of it. So having that controlled release is very nice and it's also very safe. In addition, Lugall manufactures and sells all of the replacement parts. So if something does break with the come along, you can buy an individual hook, you can buy any of these little components here that change from freewheel to tightening. Uh, you can buy and replace the cable. And in addition, they have many different models. So I mentioned earlier, you can get a stainless steel cable. That is their marine grade model. And they also have different lengths of cables available. The one we like is a 20 foot cable because that allows us obviously a little more variety and application. And then they do also sell uh, strap come alongs. So if you're just looking into getting geared up for timber framing, I consider this an absolutely essential tool. $260 seems like a lot, but the stuff that it will allow you to do alone and safely is well worth the cost. It also has multiple uses that go far beyond timber framing, as I mentioned earlier. Very handy to keep in the trunk of your car if you like to go off-roading. If you're interested in learning more about timber framing, feel free to check out our online course at the link below. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you at the next one. Hey guys, here at the Shelter Institute, we've been teaching people to design and build their homes since 1974, and we've been building timber frames for about 40 years. We design and build timber frames, we sell fine woodworking tools, we teach house building classes of many different types. If you'd like to learn more about what we do, check us out in person here at our store in Woolwich, Maine, or online at shelterinstitute.com.